This makes this hurts my heart. Doug, play the tape. Oh, this is crazy. Have you seen the special? I have not. Oh, How about play it? Well, okay, that's not real. Check this out. It looks like something from Alien. I think we figured out why the army cut so many people. Oh, yeah, dude. 100 kilometers in 16 hours? That doesn't seem fast. Did you walk that? I don't do metric. Wow, dude. The U Hawk. Meaning it yeah. don't need you. <laughs> I didn't know Sikorsky was a Lockheed Martin Corporation. I think sure. everything is a Lockheed Martin Corporation. <laughs> it's got Brondo. It's what plants <laughs> crave. <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen your thoughts it's wild man uh, i mean like you dude like you said i think we have seen i mean I, I we talked about it when casmo was on and you know you guys were i don't know if you were in total agreement with me but i'm like i can see i can see the unmanned thing coming like I took a ride in a fully automated tesla and i'm just like holy cow they're not far if they can replace me driving they're not it's just another couple steps to replace that was flying. a pretty low bar replacing <laughs> you driving it's an even lower bar to replace me flying but um <laughs> but but they've done it right with the blackhawk and now Wait, i mean have they done it i mean or did they just make a computer no program? there was a video mm -hmm. in one of these of them at a trade show with the clamshell doors opened and people uh, were walking around so at it least flown? It physically did it fly in and fly out Doug, producer? It's just, just a mock-up. I'll have a look. You're supposed to just hit the I believe button. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Dude. I, I don't know. Because they were talking about how fast. It was like 10 months or something months from, to get from design, which is like, why can't y'all do this all the time? Yeah. But, dude, all they did, they uh, you know, they just put some, you know, Hobby Lobby servos in there where the dudes would be, and they just clamshelled the front <laughs> of it. Is that the like, technical explanation, <laughs> Gawky? The was Hobby, like, Lobby, Hobby Lobby? Hobby or Lobby whatever. servos. The Radio Shack. My, the, my wife's ears just perked up. Yeah. <laughs> Pottery <laughs> Barn. They went to the Bed Bath and Beyond. Interesting. Are they talking yeah. about crafting on the river? <laughs> She's coming in. <laughs> no, but I mean, it, I, it just looks like it it definitely looks uh slight like, slightly homemade. I mean, they just, they just cut the front homemade. off, and they're like, okay, let's just just uh, take a mold of the front of a Blackhawk, and we'll make these two doors and just put the clamp. Yeah, you know what it them. reminds me of is uh the documentary Firebirds, where they spray painted the Humvee windows and made him wear a panty <laughs> on his head. So they like spray. That. They just. They spray paint the windows. You're like, you don't need these. It took them uh, 10 months to figure out the right <laughs> spray paint to match and the paint match the doors. Yeah. Uh, it's horrifying, dude. I'm, I'll is. tell you what the Terminator age stuff. of we're old. And uh, I wonder just from a practical perspective, right? It sounds great on paper, but what happens when stuff's going wrong? You know, what happens when the thing, the, the code gets corrupted or the EMP takes out your data link or, you know, the comms aren't working. Like it's one thing to lose like a Reaper or something that is not carrying anything all that important, but a couple hellfires. But when you start loading troops into this thing, uh, no skin in the game. It's just how, you know, taking you wherever you need to go with no windows. <laughs> But special yeah. knows when a Marine is told to go, he goes. He's going to go. <laughs> He's going to go, dude. I mean, you know, Radio Shack servos are people. Like, we're going. Right? I would not <laughs> want to fly in the back of one of those. Uh, you get Everybody would be throwing up because it's like being in the back of a C-130. You can't see anything. You're just sloshing around. Well, I mean, the scary part was that thing flying in an area, then launching a whole bunch of drones, like let alone 
like real yeah I mean, and that's that's smart i mean and that's what they talked about and why they were downsizing the army uh aviation side and and they were moving towards this. They wanted to be more agile and more reliant on drones. But uh, Anduril is coming up with anti-drone technology. So, but you know, it's the, it's just like the stealth thing, right? When we said, we're going to put all our eggs in the stealth basket. And then the radars are like, yeah, we can see that still because we got a radar that can see. Okay, well, radar is back to the too. Yeah. yeah, now we're back to the merge. Okay, I'll see you at the merge. Now dogfights are back, you know, because right. we just oh, no jam gun? each other to the merge. Right. Yeah, dude. Um, but I mean, that Blackhawk, would it be, is it a, I mean, U-Hawk. is it you Hawk? Sorry. W- would it be, I mean, it's not really a drone, right? It's just a, a that's a drone. A, yeah. Un, it's unmanned aerial system. That's scary, dude. I, I see stuff like that. I literally have the soundtrack of like Terminator. I mean, I mean but Gonky, you're, to your point about, you know, hey, I'm impressed with the Tesla. I mean, I have a drone sitting right there, Skydio, and it is, almost fully autonomous like i did some video footage people were all impressed with it because i had the little beacon in my hand and it followed me around and it would avoid obstacles and you know pick the best way and and you know i could make it fly a route if i wanted to that's just been around for a while dude you go to the local motocross track on a weekend and there are dudes racing around the track with their camera drone following oh yeah oh yeah following them dude and there's yeah, i mean there's trees hanging there's rocks yeah. flying and the old just, drone's like zip, zip, yeah zip. if i, I tried to it. manually do it i would run crash into it. my own truck <laughs> like i would crash into myself trying to drive trying to drive and do this thing i mean the technology's there and as we know you know i mean all it takes is autopilot and a navigation source and you know auto hovers a thing you know, you look at the H-160, that thing will take off on its own, land on its own. You know, helicopters have been doing this for a while. Yeah, in the future, for defense, if Top Gun's going to recommend for defensive BFM, engage the autopilot. <laughs> let it let it go. Let it go yeah. hands-on. Let go, dummy. Let Hal yeah. fly. <laughs> well, like I mean, dude, what well. was the first step when you departed control flight in the Hornet? Let go. Yeah, the computer knows. It knows better than you. Not like the F-5. <laughs> which is a relic <laughs> special can you still recite these oh, 44 not... steps required to i i cannot i cannot dude that was i remember when i was a rag student and you know we're all there in key west and we're like uh f5 departure spin go and the guy is he just keeps yeah. going like, is he possessed it goes on forever and ever you have an out-of-body experience <laughs> right? and you're like am when, i still talking when you think he's over he's like and if inverted, and, just, <laughs> like, just got, and I'm like, good Lord, dude, you're going to hit the ground before well, you got to start at 50,000 feet. <laughs> so. yeah. Well, is it like the T-38, 15,000 feet uncontrolled? Oh, I can't remember. No, I yeah. think it's a, it was the same as the Hornet. Oh, wow. Kind of- All right. Well, I, for one, welcome our new um, AI overlords. And <laughs> uh, thank you for your service, Lockheed Martin, as usual. Yeah human race thank you for your service yeah <laughs>